I can't be always fussing with all this cash. It's ridiculous. Really, just a couple of years ago, not that long, maybe about four years ago, had an idea for an installation project. And the installation project involved having two ends of town, uh, one at each end of the gallery, and, and I was going to write some scenes for a vast sort of array of characters. And I started doing that with Hogan's Alley characters and then the, the, the characters from the Veterans Hostel at the old Vancouver Hotel, 1948. And then that didn't ever get off the ground, so another about a year went by and another attempt was made. To, and then um, Stan um, ran into uh, uh, Matthew Jean's lab from the Canadian stage and the, and the artistic director out there, and they uh, cooked up the idea that a, a play could be mounted, a filmed play. That's not very civilized. Welcome to Vancouver. You want a drink in this town? It has to be out of a brown bag. So you're getting to see this fantastic, um, instantly created live film being made right in front of your eyes by and some of the actors performing a camera work. But what you've got is the front and center is a, is a very large scrim, which is really the size of the old uh, the cinema screen that used to be right here in the Stanley Theater, which was originally a, a, a cinema house. War's over, mister. Oh, no, no, no offense. I was uh, just curious about your background. So the actors are being filmed and as they perform, and then instantaneously um, the computer um, uh, translates all that language to black and white and 70 mil. You're looking at the, something the size of Lawrence of Arabia in black and white. The noir genre is, is what it lends itself to, 1948, that sort of. Uh, so you're getting this really kind of a big impact. You're seeing old Vancouver, you're seeing the costumes, you're seeing actors um, you know, portraying 1948 style. Uh, uh, performances and so on like that. So you're really getting a bit of a wash and then the historical uh, elements are just, um, you know, engagingly uh, lived by the actors acting out their, uh, their personal uh, portraits. It's a, it's a really cha a challenging thing because this thing is not only, it's not just traditional theater, it's not simply I'm, I'm trying to make a transition to writing something that's for stage and, and, uh, and that thing, but it, but it really does has a complex uh, combination. And the, the really exciting thing, one of the reasons I jumped into this, this is an entirely new uh, project, really. It, something exactly like this has not been done before. Hey, yo, uh, let's make a big fuss. You, you want to write, it's in care of nobody. <laughs> General delivery nowhere. It has these fantastic elements of um, living backgrounds. It's all a big highlight because it's exhilarating. As long as I'm learning something and, I, and it's just kind of beyond my ken, I, I start to really dig it because then, then you know, hey, Melissa, okay, my craft's being challenged. My, my, uh, I'm, tr I'm trying to stay in the game here. And suddenly you're in something that's, in, that's alive and in motion and you're contributing as much as you possibly can and, um, and, and relating to all the, all, the, all the production elements, all the creative elements, thousands of questions fired at everybody all day long and people trying to, you know, surge forward and, and get this thing in a productive uh, production um, machinery mode that can still stay wide open to artistic inspiration as it's happening. Why are you going on about Henry? I told you he was in my dream. Well, I thought you said the dream was about me and Henry. Now you say the dream was about Henry? They're never going to get another opportunity to see anything like this. This is a, a new attempt at combining artistic um, crafts to be able to come and see a process which will inevitably become a lot more common and mainstream. To see it in its beginning stages and the challenges involved and yet also the, to enjoy a part of the, the fact that this is a combination of, of technology and live uh, human uh, endeavor and um, something that is uh, becoming rarer and rarer for people even to witness. So, you know, it's, a, it's a, it, hopefully it attracts people who have a love of film and uh, love of theater and a love of, uh, you know, something that could uh, go dangerously off the rails. It's a bit of a circus environment that way and that makes it exciting. I haven't seen this before. The lions could get out of the cage.